Hi friends, welcome back to my channel you guys. I am so excited for today's video. In front of us we have a seafood boil from a brand new place we have never been before. And the reason that I order from this place today is because of you guys. You guys sent me so many messages on Instagram saying, Kim, you need to check out this place. I'm not gonna lie, their Instagram is absolutely beautiful. It makes me drool. It is so bright and vibrant and the food looks delicious. Um, and they're located in Orange County. They're actually located in Anaheim. I was so confused because the name is Claw so Zone. And if you guys remember, last year we ate at this place called Claw's. So, and that place became like one of my favorite places. So I was like super confused, but they're actually two different places. So I will go ahead and list their address, their Instagram, and uh, their Yelp account down below in case you guys are ever in Orange County and you wanna check it out. Just because I might not like it or I like it doesn't mean that you guys need to agree with me. I feel like everyone's taste buds are very different. I personally love Kick and Crab. I am a Kick and Crab girl. I think they have the best seafood boils. But a lot of people might argue and say boiling crab is the best. So everybody's different. But I wanted to try out this place for you because a lot of you were saying, Kim, you need to eat here so I know if it's good or not. So I checked it out for you. You know, let, let me waste my money before you guys go and waste yours because seafood boils can be very expensive. So one of the cool things that they have on their menu is they have different sauces. So I'm looking at their menu right now. They have about five sauces. I got the Old Bay sauce in mild for the spicy level. I always do mild because I cannot do medium or hot. And then I got the Claw Zone Deal, which comes with one whole Dungeness Crab, one whole lobster tail, snow crab, king crabs, half a pound of shrimp, half a pound of crawfish, half a pound of mussels, potatoes, corn, and sausages. So first off, I know this is a lot of talking, but also this video is like a review, so I'm gonna tell you guys exactly what I think. Um, you get one king crab leg. I was so disappointed when I opened up the bag. It's literally one king crab leg. Um, you can go to Kicking Crab or other places. The last place that we ate at, the Crab Shack in Cyprus, the lobster tail was ginormous. Look at the size of this lobster tail. It is so small. So first, we're just going to judge it off the size of the seafood. I mean, I'm not too impressed. Dungeness crab looks like a great size, though, and snow crab looks good. So without further ado, we're just going to have to dig into it and see how everything else goes. Um, so yeah, bon appetitis. Let's get started. I don't have rice today, you guys, because I wanted to savor this. So we're going to go in with sausage. We do have sausage and cucumber. Hmm. Okay. It's not bad. I'm not gonna lie, when I thought of Old Bay seasoning, I thought I was gonna get like the dry seasoning. I didn't know it was gonna be wet. Oh, also the sauce. I made up the sauce yesterday, and I remade it again today, but I don't remember the exact measurements, and I don't really know if it's going to be, like, really good for you guys. I'm kind of scared to, like, share any sauce recipes, because, like, be love sauce is out there, and you guys all love it. So, I don't know, but I think it's really good. If you guys want me to share this sauce, oh my god, no, please don't fall. Um, if you guys want me to share the sauce, you know, comment down below and let me know. I'm going to go in with a shrimp, you guys. Oh man, no, no, no. It's overcooked. Oh man, I gotta forfeit this one, you guys. Good. I personally think this sauce is good. A lot of you guys get really mad that I like, like do this on the side. I can't really help it. I'm not trying to get it all over my face. Mmm. That was a potato. Wow, all the shrimp is overcooked. No, no, no. Their Old Bay sauce is actually really nice. Mm. 
Let me see. If you guys hear uh, that noise, it's the rain. It just started raining today, first like randomly. I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. I thought rain stopped last week. Okay. I inhaled at the wrong time. I don't know, Clauzo. One king crab leg? That hurts my heart. I paid like a hundred bucks for this, you know? I feel like you can get more at other places with a hundred bucks. The sauce tastes exactly like lemon pepper. Not this sauce, not my sauce, their sauce. My sauce does not taste like lemon pepper. Honestly, my sauce is in and special. I did put the uh, two times spicy sauce in, into this bowl. Mm. Just kidding. There was meat. I have crawfish here. I have no nails also. It's making life really hard when it comes to seafood. Crawfish isn't bad. that garlic Lobster tail, itty bitty. Oh my gosh, it's super tiny, you guys. Do you guys remember the lobster tail from the last seafood boil compared to this? I mean, I'm very, very grateful that I even have food in front of me. But as a, as a, uh, I'm reviewing this place for you guys, I don't know if it's worth your money. <coughs> Spicy. Wow. Woo! We are gonna go in. Okay, we're gonna go where the dungeon is. I love some Dungeness crab.
This is the perks of having small fingers. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing about Dungeness Crab. It is so good and sweet, you don't need to dip it in sauce. At least that's my opinion. When you eat like king crab, I don't really feel like there's like a sweetness to it or anything. Unless you get a really good one. But with Dungeness, it's just so good on its own. Mm. And then the juice. Also, as you guys know, all the restaurants in California are closed right now. I believe all of California by now are closed. You can't actually go to this place, but you can order from this place on Yelp if you live close enough. Or I believe you can order from them on DoorDash or Postmates. I believe. I would call the restaurant and check it out. Or if you're really skeptical, I would just wait until restaurants are open again and you can go to their actual restaurant. Mm. Not gonna lie though, I've had sweeter Dungeness crab. This one doesn't taste as sweet. You guys know the spider crab I, I ate the other day? That one was way sweeter than this. Ooh, this one's for you guys. Let me crack this for y'all. If you guys were here right now, I would give you this piece. Oh, here you go. Mm. That's so good. I just really like Dungeness meat. Head and open this Dungeness crab. Always find the apron, rip it off. Oh, you are hot! <laughs> there we go. Not a bad size. I just wish that the meat wasn't like... It's just like not sweet. No, no. You guys, I'm so sorry. I just feel like the seafood boil is like, um, like might be a fail. I might have to take all this and make soup. I'm trying the snow crab now. It also could be the sauce. I might not like the sauce because it's so like a little bit too sour.
The zebu tastes really dry. Oh my god, the sauce. Honestly, I'm lucky I have my sauce here because I'm not digging their Old Bay sauce. Oh my god, the garlic at the bottom is so bomb. Like scooping all the garlic from the bottom. Mm. I'm here. the spices <gasps> friends I would rather take this and go make some fried rice go put in some ramen 
go put in some udon noodles. I'm not loving the sauce too much, and I don't know why. From the pictures on their Instagram, it, it set like an expectation for me, so I expected the seafood to be like mind blowing in person. And it just didn't blow my mind, you guys. But as always, even if I don't like it, you guys might like it. So I will list all the information down below in case you guys want to check it out. Um, yeah, for me, it's not too much of a wow factor. I was kind of disappointed. Um, I don't know. Just I didn't feel right with it, you know? Like, you guys know when I'm blown away with a seafood boil. I am blown away about the sauce, though. I'm not going to lie. I, I thought it was really good. I mean, it did kill me a few times, but... I would die for it. I'm not much of a dipper, but I might just be a dipper now. So that might make some of y'all real happy. Anywho, you guys, I hope you guys are staying safe. Please, please, please stay at home as much as you can. Please do not leave the house unless you really, really have to leave the house. A lot of grocery stores now are doing delivery. If you can, you can use Postmates and DoorDash to order whatever you may need at your local stores. If you really, really need food, you can also order food as well. If you have to go to the gro grocery store, please make a list of things um, just so you're in and out. You get in, you grab things, stay six feet away from people. Please wear a mask. Please wear gloves. When you get home, please wash your clothes, take a shower. Be very careful before you walk in the house because the moment that you step out, you are putting yourself in danger in a way. You just never know who has gotten sick, who is sick but may not know they're sick, and how you're going to get it. You could get it from touching something. Who You never know. So be very cautious. Please wash your hands. Sing the happy birthday song twice, okay? Wash your hands, stay safe, and please, 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 if you are older and if you're young, who, whoever you are, stay home as much as you can. There is no reason for you to be out and about hanging out with friends or whatever it is. I, I see now people are at the beach still. There are, some people are not taking it this seriously, and the last thing that we want is to see this get worse and more people get affected. I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. I love you so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Mukbang family. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever eaten here. Let me know what you're doing, staying at home, being, you know, responsible and self-distancing yourself. Let me know things I should be watching. Excuse me. Let me know things I should be watching on Netflix. Um, I can borrow Michelle's Hulu account. I don't have a Hulu account. Amazon Prime. Let me know, you guys. And also give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, you guys. And that is all. Follow me on Instagram so you can see all my cute dogs. I will see you guys back here tomorrow, 5 o'clock p.m. See you guys then. Bye, my loves.